Hello and welcome back to Below Zero. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. And uh, I did some things, so I'm going to show you what I did. And then we're going to go and, and actually get cold for real this time. And possibly for an extended period. Uh, I can't remember whether the peeper tank was set up before, but yeah, peepers. Uh, I would like for there to be more peepers, but they're working on it. And this, it turns out, is what that weird egg was. So, yeah, uh, not gel eyes after all. And it does sort of make sense that that weird UFO-looking thing grows up into a Titan whole fish. Uh, I'm a little bit bummed that there aren't any fresh eggs to show you at the moment. But that's how life is. And then... <laughs> I spent so much time on this. So, of course, we got the glow whales, and they actually are making an egg. I wasn't sure they were going to make eggs. For a long time, they weren't. And I think I'm going to grow this containment unit so that there can be more glow whales. And uh, I probably am going to feed one to the bioreactor. I'm just not sure I'm going to be able to resist. It's not any kind of malice against them. It's just... I kind of have to. Uh, these guys are, I'm pretty sure they are Cryptosuchus eggs, and they're taking a very long time to hatch. Over here, we've got Rock Puncher eggs, also taking a very long time to hatch. No eggs in here, of course. Um, I do still have three more kinds of eggs that I've collected that do not have a spot. Uh, and then in here, we got Brine Wings. And they just recently hatched, so they have not been busy as yet. But they are definitely going to get fed to the reactor, because they're jerks. Um, let's have a look at the eggs that do not have spots yet. Um, and also, I would very much like to find some crash fish eggs, because I want to do a thing with them before our time on 4546B is over forever, or at least until the next game comes out. But it's probably not going to be on the planet. So, yeah, I want to do the thing. Where did I hide the eggs? Ah, yes. So I got these guys, and they're sea monkeys, apparently. I already knew that. These guys, don't know what they are. And these guys, I don't know what they are either. The coloration on these guys kind of makes me think maybe those uh, sharky guys with no tail fin. But these, I'm really not at all sure what they are. Okay, so it is time to go get cold. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bring all the goodies that I've got. Do I wanna bring these? It won't hurt. Oh, actually, you know, there might be one thing that I want to take care of. I've been debating. Because, <clears throat> see, this fish tank it, and the aquarium, I mean, it's cool, yeah. But, um, I haven't really got much use out of it. And I feel like, for an extended engagement maybe it would be better to have another storage. But you know, I think I'm going to leave that for another time. I'm going to make do with the equipment I've got. I'm going to detach the aquarium anyway, just to save myself a little horsepower. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Uh-huh. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the... Uh, food and drink that I just grabbed direct in the prawn suit. And uh, I did also expand the storage somewhat. So it'll be useful for an extended engagement also. Yeah. And then we'll just... Uh, I'm probably just going to leave the aquarium floating around near Jelly Base, I guess. Because, like, what else am I going to do with it? Right? <coughs> hmm. 
<clears throat> okay. So that's this one. We'll just go. Oh, there we go. Cryptosuka's egg discovered. And then we'll go over here. There we go. Now we got a little bit more maneuverability. A little bit more horsepower to spend on going places instead of just lugging Rock Puncher. Nice. I guess I almost wasted enough time between episodes, but not quite. Oh, there's a bunch of them over there. Okay. Anyway, surface time. And since I'm going to the surface, I'm gonna change my loadout a little bit. Yeah, take flashlight. Leave sea glide. I'm gonna need the habitat builder. Yeah, okay, I'll hang on to the rest of that stuff. Alright. And off we go. And I need to be very sure to remember to bring my spy pengling along. Because I'm going to have a particularly bad time if I don't make myself some nice fuzzy underwear. Which I assume is what you do with stalker fur that you steal using the spy pengling. And what is with this guy just floating around? You're gonna hurt yourself looking at the sun like that, you know? And while I'm at it, I should take care to remember the things that I prepared. And also to keep an eye out for... Do I want the propulsion cannon? It's not super useful, is it? And I'm gonna leave, yeah, I'm gonna leave it and the fiber meshes because I'm gonna need a fabricator to make the fuzzy underwear, so. That should be it. Yes. Am I carrying the correct kind of battery? Yeah, I am. Okay. Silver. Silver is the thing that I have tried twice to say and been distracted from. Uh, I need more silver in order to make uh, ion cube batteries and stuff. Might have undershot. Nope. Nailed it. I spent some time poking around over on this side, and there may well be more things to find, but I'm pretty sure that the important thing is over this way. Um, and I will have story reasons to come back over here after. Okay. Blanc. You gotta wonder, haven't you, how it is that the bridge came to be retracted. And I've wondered about this in the past, right? Just how much of a hurry was Altera in to leave, and why? Um, did they retract the bridge in order to stop me from going this way? Or did they just... I'm sensing interesting patterns to the northeast. It would be worth investigating. But be careful. Of what? I recall ravenous creatures tunneling beneath the ice. Yeah, you recall correctly. Um, 
Yeah, did they sabotage the bridge? Because they wanted to stop people like me from coming over here, or did they just leave it? Weather approaching. Seek shelter. And the uh, ravages of the environment damaged it, and it retracted as a result. Do I have business down there? I don't think so. Nice. Yeah, so Alan warned us about sandworms, or ice worms. It is ice worm time. And that means that I should probably be looking for the thumper. Because that's how I'm supposed to navigate this region. But I mean, honestly, who has time for that? Um, come on. Just get up there. I did so good at parkour earlier today. There we go. What do we got in here? Copper and silver, maybe? We'll take the copper, too, just because it's there. And actually, you know what I really ought to be doing? That's a lot of diamonds. Nice. Actually, maybe that is a good reason to go over to the other side. Hello? Is to deal with the warm suit situation. The finalized thumpers are pretty useful. The original versions were pretty bad, but these give us almost double the time to explore some of the mineral-rich nodes. The vibrations of the ice worms sometimes knock loose pr some pretty valuable stuff if you take the time to search for it. I wonder how all these minerals even got trapped in the ice. Maybe also by ice worm action. Thumper. And more silvers and coppers. Nice. New blueprint synthesized. All right, better get warmed up. Come on, Robin. I mean, I am gonna find stalkers over this way. Well, what do we have here? Lithium. Lithium is good to have. I do not understand the jump backwards thing. Now, how am I supposed to get that stuff? What am I missing here? Aside from ankles. Alright, well, I don't actually need lithium that badly, so screw it. Now, I believe I picked up some water. Indeed, I did. over here. Alright, so yeah, I think I am going to go back to the other way. Grab the stalker. Fur. Make the equipment. And then we can get back into the ice worm shenanigans. I mean, one way or the other, I have to gather up the resources and then go back to the boat to make the thing, so I might as well do it this way. In my opinion. There's another cave over here. Maybe it deserves a quick look. I mean, there are several paths. Why can't I walk over that rock? Oh. 
I just had to decide to do this as it got dark, right? I guess I could follow the lights, but the lights are not going to lead me to stalker flesh or fur. I guess the other thing I should do is I should actually... <clears throat> it is my allergy season, so unfortunately this is just going to be a thing. Um, I should actually build the snow fox. I brought all this stuff to build it, so I should just do it. And I mean, anywhere around here will be fine. But, uh, warm suit first. I was just noticing that the altimeter on the prawn suit doesn't actually indicate my current altitude. It's just, if I'm not underwater, then it's zero. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Alright. Go ahead and put some of this stuff away. But not those three. Do I need a lithium? I don't need a lithium. That one can go. Alright, fine. The titanium too. Now, I'd really like to just find a good place to creep on some stalkers so that I can be done with it. Also acceptable would be actually one of the one of the spy pangling places is right around here, isn't it? Uh. What are you on about, Robin? Do you not like going backwards? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this queued up while I'm still in the warm. It'd be nice if I could control it from here. <coughs> but of course, I just have to... Chance freezing. Thank you. I'm not really sure what the companionship and infiltration values are about. But I also don't see anything worth grabbing in here. So let's get it out before Robin freezes. And there we go. Our first look at Robin. Oh. Do I not take thermal damage while I'm ping-linging? That's nice. I like that his name is Peng Wan. Well, I prove. Alright. So that's nice. I appreciate not freezing during the pengling process. Now to a better place to operate. Oh yeah, we need to go look at that beacon at some point. It's not urgent, but it's definitely on the to-do list. Get up there, go on. I'm gonna get stuck if I do this. 
Okay, fine. So there's a stalker. Gonna have a hard time getting my spy pangling over there. Hmm. No, that's not it. I really want to know if the uh, little hidey hole for the guy is still around somewhere. That's not what I want, neither. Hmm. I probably could use some titanium. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. We just had dangerous weather, Tablet. Can't you give me a damn break? Hmm? You know what I think would be really nice for this section? Is thermal vision. This is not a good place to approach the stalker. I'm gonna move on. I will find an appropriate opportunity eventually. I keep hearing some kind of critter. Yeah, there it is again. Oh, this is gonna this will be perfect. All right. So I'll set up shop here. And now, let's see what happens if we just bees friends with the penglings. Ready and waiting. Oh, look at that! I've got I've got values. Love me, my pretty penguins. I don't know what this is doing for me, but numbers go up. Okay. And now my infiltration value has gone down. But I'm pretty sure that off this way is where I started getting harassed. By stalkers. Like right in here. Hmm. But I'm almost out of range. Okay. So what I can do is I'll just, I'll just exit right there and then get closer. Now I'm pretty sure those guys, the guys don't like it if I grab the little ones, so I'm not going to do that. Because I don't see any reason to antagonize the bitey friends. Alright, now this should be fine. Do I hear Stalker? Yeah, I think I do. There's Stalker. I'm still really pushing the range though, huh? For some reason, it didn't feel like it was this far between them when I was running from the stalker mama. Can you imagine? Right, I'm just gonna keep myself out of view. Spy penguin online. Now it's time to get grabby. Oh, 
All right. Fur collection successful. Can I only get one per guy? Nope, I can. All right. So we're all good. Am I about to get eated? Nope. Okay. So I think, I'm pretty sure four fur is all that I needed. And I would really just prefer not to be looked at by any stalkers right now. So I'm being overly cautious. But this should satisfy the stalker fur requirements. I was sort of hoping that would do something. Okay. Yeah, give me the goodies. And all set. Oh, magnetites. Am I supposed to propulsion cannon those? Let's go get the propulsion cannon and find out. I did bring it with me, right? Well, it's not in my pocket, so that's not a good sign. But I gotta go back to the boat now anyway, so... Actually, let's check the storage before we go. Yeah, I did not put it in the storage. Good job, Vic. Back to the boat. And the boat is over there. I'm not sure that's really going to help me get closer. It's not how I got over here, so... Why would it be how I get back? I think this is right, though. Well, it would be nice to not freeze in the out of doors, won't it? Yes, it will. And I have a bunch of silver now. It might be reasonable to uh, actually go back to base and make some more ion goodies. This ice is really robust. Which is odd because it's not all that thick. Alright, so now we're back at V. Got a little bit more ways to go. At least I didn't get epically lost this go around. This is not the way that I came. But I might as well grab a snack while I'm here. totally works. Alright. Don't forget the propulsion cannon. Maybe you can steal stuff from the rocks with it. Alright, now can I dock up? Nailed it. in we go. So I need you guys, and I would also like you. Yeah, see, Thumper takes a battery, a titanium, and a magnetite. And after it's been out there for a few seconds, 
it gets destroyed by the stupid ice worm. At least I assume that's how it works, because I have sure as hell never tried. <laughs> All right. Made of tightly knit Kevlar microfiber and insulated with an alpine yoke around the neck and shoulders, the cold suit is designed to delay the onset of hypothermia. Delay the onset? You mean I'm still gonna get cold? That's lame. Alright. But I am still gonna wear my fins, because I'm a lunatic. What is making that noise? Is some jellyfish biting my boat? Do not bite my boat, jellies. Alright, so... I need to keep the two magnetites, the three titaniums, the wiring kit, the lubricant. I'm gonna put the rebreather away. Yeah, that's probably safe. Even if I go underwater, I'm not gonna be going deep, deep, deep underwater. Okay. Well, as usual, we have run out of time. Come back and see me again tomorrow and we will head back up to the surface and play around with the hoverbike. Talk to you soon.